Welcome back to another Back to Basics from Computer Craft or with Computer Craft. Uh, our little village is getting set up. We've got a couple of houses that we've just added and some road here. Um, our mascot escaped, so we're going to have to bring him back to his pen. But what we're going to talk about this time is creating your own functions. So last time we went ahead and we, we showed how to use some functions that already exist. Uh, the turtle API functions, some print functions, and we made uh, the start of a house, just a few uh, blocks for a floor and uh, and one block for a wall and a torch to kind of give you an idea of what you could do if you put more effort into it. But it was very tedious typing those same commands over and over again. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to go ahead and show you how you can put together uh, your own function so that instead of typing the same commands over and over again uh, you can have a function set up where y the commands are in that function and you don't have to uh, type them uh, you don't have to use all that repetition so what I thought we would do today is show uh, how to use the function to make up a function and our function we're gonna put in some street lights here so we have this nice road. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and make some a, a robot put in a street light for us. So let's go ahead and put down our disk drive and throw in our disk. And uh, we want it to basically put some fence posts up, maybe three fence posts high, then go over one and put in a uh, a little block of wood and then put some torches on it. So let me make some fence some fence posts quickly. And um, I think I have enough wood. I've been cutting down some trees. I actually don't have that much wood, but um, it'll hopefully do for our for our short demonstration. So we'll just get uh, 16 fence posts. That should make a few lights. We've already got to uh, some torches, and we've got some blocks of wood. So let's talk about what we want it to actually do. Now, what I probably am going to have it do is just really simply make three fence posts up and then have it go left one, put a block of wood, and then put a torch, I guess, on the inside here by the street. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go into the disk here, and here's build it, which we worked on last. We're going to make another program. So we're going to do edit, uh, we'll call it street, um, we'll call it light. So now we have to decide what we want to do. Well, we want it to have some fence posts. We'll put that in slot one. We want it to have some wooden planks. And we want it to have some torches. So the first thing we want it to do is we want it to lay down three fence posts. And uh, so we're just going to say turtle select uh, one. So it's going to select a fence post. And then we want it to place that fence post, so turtle uh, place. And then we want him to place two more. So here's one way that we can use a function. If we want him to do a place and then move up, we can make a function for that. So let's call it function place and up. So hopefully that will make sense. And we put these brackets because you can pass it a value. So here, for example, we're passing select a value, we're passing it one. So you could accept a value here, but in this case we don't have a value that we want to accept. So it doesn't matter what what they pass in here, we're always going to do the same thing. We're going to do turtle place, and then we're going to do turtle up. So we can, instead of calling turtle place, we can call our, ooh, I'm sorry, you also have to end your function so that it knows the beginning point of the function and the end point of the function. So now we're going to go ahead and call that function, and you just use place and up, and again with a function you have to put the open and close brackets. And now if I run this, he should, uh, in fact, why don't I just do this three times? Place and up, place and up. So it's going to call this function three times, and notice Instead of writing six commands, I just write three. So I've already saved myself some effort. So I'm going to hit save, exit, and we're going to make sure that that works. And we're going to run uh, light. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to make him go down three. Let's go ahead and we can leave those there. Um, he just won't place it again. That's fine. So edit light. 
Now the next thing I want him to do is I want him to go to the left one and then face back where he was facing and put some wood on there. So let's go ahead and do that. So turtle left, turn left, okay? And then I want him to go forward, turtle dot forward, and then turtle, he's gonna face back to where he was facing. Uh, so I want him to turn right, and then I want him to place this wood block. So turtle, select two, and turtle, place. So now he should go up, he should uh, actually, I think he's actually going to go up to here. This might not work because I think he's going to place it uh, one higher than the block. So actually, why don't I fix that right now? We're going to make him go down one. He's gone up a little too far here. So turtle down. Okay. So let's run light again. And he should try to place these three, but he's already done it. He goes down one and places that little wooden block. Now that seems a little too short to me. I don't think that's a good position for a lamp post. You're going to run into it with your head. So let's go ahead and fix that. We'll tell him to go right one, go forward, go down three, and go go left one. So now he should be back at the starting position. Okay, so that that's not going to work. We want him to go a little bit higher. So all we need to do is we go in and we've decided that that's not high enough. So, okay, what happened to my program? And well, let's Let's see if I can go out and then go back in. It's called disk two now for some reason. That's okay. So uh, sometimes when you move your your uh, turtle back to where he was, uh, the disk drive can be renamed. So it's called disk two. That's fine. We'll go back into disk two. And uh, if you don't remember, CD will change directory, and I w went back to the root directory, and I did an ls to list, and then I just saw that it was called disk two, and then I went uh, change directory into disk two. So. We'll edit that light program, and we want him to make it maybe two. Let's say he, we want it to make it two higher. Place and up. Place and up. Okay, so now he's finished. He's going to be facing the piece of wood. Uh, we want him to come over one more and place the torch. Now, I'm not sure if he has to be facing the wood to do that or not. So let's go ahead and find out. He's placed it. Then we want him to go, now here's another place we can use a function. We've had him turn left and go forward and turn right. We're going to want him to do that again because we want him to place a torch. So let's make, shif make a function for that and we'll call it shift left one, okay? Or shift left, we'll call it that. Function shift left and we want him to do turtle turn left and then turtle forward and turtle turn right and end. So now every time we call shift left, he's going to turn to the left, go forward one, and then turn right so he's facing the way we want. So we can get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. And we can just call shift left. And then after he places the wood block, we can shift left again and we want to select turtle select three this time the torch and turtle place now why don't i show you how you can pass in a variable to a function as well since we're here because i see some more repetition turtle select two turtle place turtle select three turtle place so the way you pass a, f a variable in and i haven't talked about variables i'll talk about it more but why don't I'll, I'll just go ahead and use a variable here, and uh, if you don't, if you're not understanding what exactly how a variable works, we'll talk about that more. Don't worry about it. So, we're gonna make a function called place item, and then here's a variable name, slot number. You can call that whatever you want. We're gonna call it slot num here, and so all we're gonna do is we're gonna do turtle select slot num. So if we pass a one, slot num becomes one, and then turtle select one. And then we do turtle place end. So that's all it is. Place item slot num. So now we can get rid of this stuff here and change it to place item two, which should place the wood plank. 
and we can get rid of this and do place item three. Now let's see if that actually puts a torch where we want it to put it. Oh, it's time to sleep. And hopefully it's going to put a torch just there on the uh, on the left side or on the inside, on the street side. And uh, if not, we might have to actually sneak the turtle all the way around and, and face the block as we place the torch. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and run this program here. Save, exit, and light. So he goes up. Makes it as high as we wanted it to, places the block, and places the torch. Perfect. So that's that's going to be our street light. Now notice he's not in a perfect position to run that function again. If we want him to run that function again, we probably would like him to go forward and uh, go down and, and then get to maybe 10 blocks uh, ahead. So let's see if he knocks off that torch as he goes forward. Oh, he can't go forward. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to reset him. Now let's have him go down four. Go right. Go forward. Go. F oh, I should have made him go forward twice. Oh, he can't. He's stuck. So go up. Go forward two. Go down. Go left. So now he's reset. Okay. So. When he finishes, he's facing this torch here. He's facing forward. And he is uh, one, two, three, four blocks, five blocks up. So after he's done with that, what we want him to do is let's have him go up over the torch. So turtle up. Now he's six blocks up. We'll have him go. Let's say we want to make the next lamp post uh, 10 blocks down, or we'll say five blocks down for now. So uh, turtle forward, turtle forward, turtle forward. I wonder if you can do turtle forward five. That would be nice. Let's try that from Lua. So if you have a question about a function, you can run Lua. And a function that you'd normally use in c computer code, you can type in here. So let's try back. And let's give it a number. No, OK, you can't do forward five. So that's that's too bad. So I'm going to exit Lua, exit with the brackets, and then go forward. And then let's see what this directory is called now. It's probably back to disk one. Yep, so CD disk. We're going to edit that light program. So we can't say forward five, unfortunately. That's something that I'll show how to use a while statement or a for statement. But for now, we'll just do it the old fashioned way forward, turtle, forward, turtle, forward. Now he's still shifted two to the left. So we're going to shift him back by going turtle, turn right, and then turtle, forward, turtle, forward, and turtle, turn left. Now I think he's about six or seven blocks high. So we can just have him keep on going down until he touches the ground. So we're going to say turtle down, turtle down, turtle down, turtle down, turtle down, turtle down. And that should hopefully be enough to get him all the way down to the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. OK. Now, if you already know about uh, loops and you're screaming, uh, don't worry. I will show loops in the near future. We won't be doing this uh, forever uh, this way. But uh, so now what he's going to do is he's going to go up. He's going to make the torch. He's going to go up one more. And he's going to go forward five. He's going to turn right. He's going to go forward two, turn left, uh, and go down. So now he's set up to, to make another torch. So let's see. Yeah. So now we can even make this whole thing a function. So let's do that. Let's call this function make light. And we'll just close that whole thing in this function here and hit end. And then we can do make light, make light, make light, make light. I don't, I don't know if it, he might not even have enough fences, fence posts to, to do all those. Why don't I just make another fence post or two? And uh, we'll see if he can make all those lights. So I think he's making four or five fence posts high. 
So he probably needs, if I'm going to run it four times, he needs about 20 fence posts. He might have an, I think he'll have enough after this. So I'll go ahead and throw these fence posts in there. There we go. And let's go ahead and run this program. And hopefully it works. I may have to change it. Usually I do. So he goes up. He turns right. He tries to place the block. Tries to place the torch. Goes over the torch. Goes forward. Comes back down. And he runs the function again. So there you go. There you have it. If you have a house, let's say you've programmed him to make a house. And uh, you want him to make a row of houses. Uh, this is a way you can do it. You can make that house uh, creation into a function and then just have them run that function over and over again. Or if you have lamp posts or a street, almost anything that you could possibly want. Uh, if you can just, if you have made the program already, you can change it into a function and then have him call that function again and again. Well, with that, uh, this city is shaping, is shaping up. It's going to be a beautiful city soon. And, um, Go ahead and, and uh, make some functions and uh, use it to throw together some, some nice cityscapes. And once you're done, uh, maybe put it in some of the comments. Show us what you've, what you've made. And uh, until next time, happy computing.